Legends, just before we officially jump into this video, I just wanted to bring to everyone's attention, I have started a Facebook page. Uh, it's nothing crazy special, but it will just be a little bit of updates like the picture you see here where, you know, I'm looking for a Lava 4 team. Um, you know, I'm looking to get a really high DPS team running. So if you are interested, please find me online uh, or invite me to any of those Lava World chats and I'd be happy to try and put together the fastest time possible using, you know, four gunslingers, four doves, four Trixie treats. Uh, mine obviously decked out with eight of eight slowdown on all of them. So, and summons. So if you've got a crazy team, like, you know, you've got a PD, you've got ghouls, which we've got eight slowdown, you know, that really super high DPS, give me a shout out and we'll get something happening and we'll make a new Lava 4 video on seeing how much time we can crush uh, off of the uh, already, no, I don't think anyone's got over a minute yet. So that's that's what we're aiming for. But I, you know, I think it's going to be fairly easy. I just want to see how far over a minute we can get. Also, I just wanted to bring your attention, guys. This video is a little bit longer, so please go down to the description, and I have got timestamps in there for each run. There is a couple of guys from Purgatory, uh, Lord Jaren as well. In the description, I spent about 10 minutes on his base and I didn't include it, so I will have an unlisted video with my failed attempts going through that, but it just highlights the strategy that I'm using and allows you to kind of, without taking too much away from the video itself. Anyway, guys, that was me really quick. We will jump into the video right now and give me a shout out for that Lava 4 team. Cheers. G'day, legends. Atron here. Welcome to a, another Guild Wars episode. Now today, we are going through why people are still using Empower Athene with such uh, proficiency, like everyone just loves it. They're like putting a, put Athene, put her in power, and put her to the edge of the base. Uh, it's just not, it's just not a good idea. So, we're gonna, we're gonna exploit that once again today, uh, with a couple of different, couple of different ways. So, we might... We've got three from Purgatory, um, we've got one from Bagya, and then Wolfpack over here has another one there. So we'll just start from the left, we'll go in, and we'll see how we go. And I think almost every single base has an Empower Athene on it. One of them's, um, one of them's got this one. Yeah, this one has an Empower Sasquatch, so that is interesting. Now, what I'm doing today is I'm breaking and making my own path with Sasquatch, trying something a little bit different. Um, and then, you know, I've got two to flex, so maybe might can be for killing Athene straight away, and then Atlanticore can be for trying to kill maybe the Skell or maybe the um, maybe the, uh, the Sasquatch up the top there. So let's just see what Mike does, because I'm not going to really be using Mike um, she goes down, I think. Nope. So she is surviving because of Walla. Okay. So let's just try and use Sasquatch. We'll do a little bit different. We'll try and time that Walla proc so it is not healing her, is what we're going to do. So we just really want to do it at the start. So that's where she's not healing, and that's where Athene is going to get wrecked and go down. So that's Athene taken care of, which is great. Now, what we want to do here is make a little path, but you kind of, you kind of want buildings around, so like, your Atlanticor can run into the building, right, and then make someone else proc, so, we'll just, I don't know, we'll place him here and we'll see what happens, uh, he's getting wrecked, getting wrecked, uh, he didn't actually proc off at all because I didn't distract him with troops, so that whole idea, he's just... He was on the burning plate there, but we have created a slightly more optimal path to go in, so we should see what happens, making sure we're not on... Yeah, we've got that, we've got... And then we're just going to put him down there. He's going to go in. He's not going to proc because I didn't distract those copters further enough. It might be easier to distract them down here, but I really wanted to take advantage of trying to take out that Sasquatch and the Gunslinger at the same time. So we might be able to do that once we do a combined combo. Let's, uh, we'll try and use Mike at first. We'll try and use Satchquatch as well. And then we'll put, 
Atlanta core just behind, but he got hit by a totem, so that was not ideal. And Sasquatch is still in the middle there. Is he going to affect anyone? It doesn't look like it. Gunslinger is still there. He is tanking. I'm not sure that they're actually going to do anything constructive, but all the troops seem to be dead, so that's kind of ideal. Um, once everything goes down, we can probably finish this off with a Ronin Bomb. Now, he, this Atlanta Corps is surviving much, much longer than I thought he would, so not a big deal there. We've got a Spiriter, we've got... Now, we do have an... Now, he is just tanking. Now, Sasquatch has tanked. So, this is a little bit different, but it was mainly just to get rid of Emparathene. The, the heals on the Sasquatch there are pretty, pretty crazy, so that wasn't, that wasn't really doing anything constructive. But um, if Ronan was going to go in, I really want to proc off the Skelly, to be honest. So, making sure we send him in after, um, after Waller has proc'd. He seems to be the only one on Empower. Anubis is not. Sasquatch is, but that's right. So, once, once Waller gets close... We want to proc three or four over there so they all get taken out and Ronan doesn't. And then once he gets to the, like his energy gets high up, we also got to watch out for Skelly proc too. So we are at 50% now, making sure that we are going, you know, spamming these troops as much as possible, letting that Scorch kick in. So we put them over this side because we don't want to deal with, what's the word, the towers. So the, t the troops hit the towers a little bit more over here. So where's that phoenix going? It's going to the town hall, going over there. So a spirit, uh, once we destroy that town hall, a spirit is still left. The spirit uh, is 5 vite and on the skill 11 so the attack speed is actually quite high so we'll we'll go in get a couple of those bottom buildings just as like an additional cleanup crew wait for the waller proc to go in that's fine she's there the, the the spirit is not attacking very fast at all so but at 95 percent we're going to have no issues no issues at all um using anubis to clear the rest of those buildings. Now, who has an owl pet? That's one thing you do want to look at. Who has the owl pet? No one. So you can just drop him in the corner and that should be happy days. All right, so focusing on using Sasquatch and Atlanta Core and Mike um, to really just negate their team to open them up for either Ronin bombing or Ronin bombing or minnow bombing, um, you know, any anything that you can really do once you get they're down three heroes, for example. So, all right, well, let's just reload and we will jump in to the next one. So, where are we? Oh, this is Guild Wars. Okay, so we'll go to the Wolf Pact next. All right, so onto this Wolf Pack thing. Um, if you are just jumping in from one of the timestamps in the description, which I didn't uh, explain before, but if you want to jump ahead at any point to attacks 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, if you go down to the description, there is timestamps that I'll put there. Um, if they're not up straight away, they will be you know, very, very, very soon afterwards. Um, and that'll allow you to jump to number 1, number 2, number 3, 4, 5 attacks. So in this one, the last three will be Purgatory, which I will state what guild they're from and then you can just jump there and have a look essentially. So if you uh, are not aware, I did do a Facebook link, guys. Um, I've set up the page ever so slightly. Uh, I'm just really posting the same kind of videos with a, a few uh, a few more you know, snippets and pictures of what's going on and what's to come. So it's only just started, but if you wanna go and hit a like button on that, that's kinda of cool. We'll get, uh, we'll get a little bit more interaction going on. So just for the people who are tuning in, I guess we've got uh, Atlanta Core on five Vite, six of eight. Eventually we'll take him to eight of eight and do a, a cool video on that and how fast he really gets. Bit of stun immunity and of course I've rolled a anti-healing one, which I really like, although Walla just takes it off, but going into this second Wolfpack one, we'll jump straight in. Utilizing Sasquatch today, guys, um, along with, ooh, this one does not have anyone. So this one is more of, um, we can still break the wall and we can still get some, uh, I'm not sure what we'll do. 
to be honest, there's nothing really crazy going on, so we might even be able to uh, get Atlanta Core and get Mike to kill the Skelly, maybe? And then we'll see how we go, because we're only dealing with a Gunslinger. So in the fashion of dealing uh, and having some fun with Mike and, Guns uh, Mike and Atlanta Core, we will see what happens there. So... Oh, actually, let's let's put them on the other side so they um got a little bit more time to walk. Watch the gunslinger proc. All right, so there's enough there. Let's go, Mike Atlanticor. They go in. Atlanticor dies from the auto proc of the Skelly. So that Skelly's probably pretty huge, and this might not actually work all that well. I mean, we can easily just break a wall at the top and then let Ronan go in that way and probably a lot easier to deal with. So if we just bulk up on troops over here, and remembering that once the troops are set, you still need to go back and hit more troops. So more troops, more troops. And we still are getting wrecked from the stun towers there. So that blitz is not taking into effect as nicely as we would like it to, which is fine, but it's just a little bit annoying. So more over there. One, two, more over there. Going through. He's gonna proc. No, he doesn't proc. But he almost procced. I think I'm dying from either a gunslinger bullet or... Who did I drop down? I just dropped Anubis by accident. So we'll try and see if we can kill that Skelly because there's no Athenes to kill in this one. So we might as well try and kill something with our Mike and Atlanta Core. Um, you know, we could always be real real cheeky here and you know use Satch Squatch over here to break some walls and then if he goes in he's gonna die from to Skelly pretty much straight away no but he is tanking over there not that that really did anything to be honest I'm not sure what I was getting at but um Atlantic or oh that's everyone going in there so that <laughs> got some fat fingers so that's one of the problems when you when you're switching in and out um well this seems very uneventful trying to kill something that might not even be killable so what are we doing here what are we doing one two three no we got hit by a stupid copter but he almost went in. I mean, with an eight sprint, he would get in there real nice and quick. I mean, he's got that stunned immunity, so he's been running in. And we'll just we'll just drop lots of them down here. So we'll try and drop a hundred or so, so at least they're um, got a little bit to go with. And then we'll keep dropping them over here to distract. And I'm just getting destroyed by something. So let's let's ditch that, and we'll go in for what I was. Um, originally doing on the other one so using sasquatch up here to break holes in the base so he's gone in and that's what we like to see so he's healing over the top of that the troops are having a little bit of effect for the for the um the gunslinger proc so he's doing some damage there he can all, almost be like a miniature ronin bomb so long as he doesn't uh die um, you know, he is getting stunned for Gunslinger, but that doesn't do anything because the Copters won't be stunned. He's going in. He's going to die anyway, but he's got the top half of that base all done. So, I mean, it allows us to either focus solely on the Gunslinger up there or the Waller, because Ronan loves to proc on Waller, or um, it also allows us to not be so um, worrying about so many troops. So we could use a Spirit to clear the troops out first, and, you know, we've really got, we've really got nothing going on. I wonder if Rockno will die. So, Rockno goes in, he's going to proc, and I wonder, I wonder, is he dying? Nah, he's not dying, he's a Rockno, so that's fine. But that's that crew out there now. Minute, minute 40 left, a Spirited to go in. He's at... 200 attack speed, getting rid of all of the remaining troops. So we've got our Ronin, and we've got our... So I wonder if that Rockno is... I wonder if the Rockno is, um... 
what's the word? Accuracy. So, we'll drop troops at the top away from towers to distract away from Ronan. So, it doesn't look like it. We've seen a lot of misses, so that's good to um, see. But we are low on troops, and we have... Now, Walla 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 is fine, but we are down, and I'm probably going to lose this, definitely. Unless we can have some fun with Anubis procking on who, I do not know. Potentially Skelly. We might get this, because Anubis is going to tank there for a little bit. And he's going to get six second procs off along with death procs. And it looks like we might be able to scrape through 95%. I think he's still got one or two deaths left. So, and we do. Pretty risky though. I mean, we went in at a quite a high, uh, quite a low percentage there. But, um, you know, picking that right target for Anubis to finish off those Doom Balloons. If Even if he is getting energy sapped, um, he can definitely still be put to really good use with um with having that six second cooldown on the doom balloon so it like you know it will just still destroy and then he gets his extra death procs as i like to call them all right so we're into purgatory now so all fun and games we'll see how these guys go all right all right so we are going in for the top three for purgatory now um now everything becomes, with a Ronin Bomb, it's, it's not too bad. The one ideal thing about using Sasquatch um, as a wall breaker, uh, he's, he actually has massive AoE, and Sasquatch, unlike Rockno, I think Rockno on his proc will only hit like 50 troops. So you know how, you know, we've got 100 targets. So Rockno only hits like 50 troops, where Sasquatch apparently will hit 150 troops within his circle. Now I have seen testing of this, maybe I can provide a video of that later but essentially it's kind of it's kind of cool so i mean he's going to deal you know if he walks into that area he can almost wipe out one or two of those bases two or three of those bases in one single proc so now athene is powering everyone up athene will die to mike but we're trying to get this atlanta core in is the uh is the whole fun of this so what i've been doing is trying to use sasquatch 2 break the buildings and the walls but leaving like one building alive so um you know and we got to rely on the athene to not be procking for that entire time so will atlanta core proc it looks like he did proc and he's got rid of uh, he did get rid of the Skelly, almost, but the Walla heal was too much, and Athene was there, so we did get, we did get Atlanta Core 2 proc, so maybe if we went from the other side and not having to deal with whatever the hell Walla is, uh, his, his auto attacks are doing, um, we might be alright, and we can also get rid of that Town Hall at the same time, while breaking the walls and using Sasquatch's AOE. So, he's going in, going in going in he will so we, we've opened up a hole right we've opened up a hole there um we've just got to make sure that we can go in that one second so once she procs she's got a five i think it's a five second cooldown with like or a six second cooldown with a five second proc so if she procs we can go like one two three four five and then because she's not on a high end power we put in there we go in and I didn't time it right, so the proc was either still going or I'm too fast on the Mississippis. Um, but you could always just start with Ronan too, but that causes causes more issues because you have less buildings to proc off of. Like if we go down here and there's less, uh, see, there's no point to go down here because. Anubis and Rockno are not going to die. You might get the Gunslinger dying, uh, which is which is actually really cool. Um, but obviously, you, know, you might you might do the Atlanta Core to kill you know Gunslinger and the Mike to kill Athene. So I just don't understand why people are still using Empower Athene. Like it does help with the Skelly and that, but it is so easy with just simply a five byte Mike and 
unless she's in the center of the base, right, and all the heroes are attached, it seems pointless to have an Empower Athene on the defensive setup, um, unless they're in the center, right? If they're in the center and with, you know, some accuracy, it deters that Ronin Bomb, but if you're going head-to-head -head with Dove, which we might do soon, it's not ideal. So, anyway, blabbering on there, we lost 30 seconds. So we will try and do what I was doing before and proc on... I want to try and leave that open, so we'll wait for Skelly to proc so he doesn't actually get as many procs off, but still opens up the wall. So once Athene procs for a second time, Skelly will be full energy and will actually lower Sasquatch's health to the extent where... Um, eh, it's probably too much. <laughs> so we'll... There's probably too much, but the, uh, in theory, right, if you block his health, then, then you can kind of pinpoint where you want him to die more so. So, if you put him in Axe, his proc is also... What is the word I'm looking for? His proc... Uh, will crit. So, I noticed putting him in Axe, his proc is actually way more effective. So, anyway, so we're going to see if... Uh, we're going to see if Atlanticorn makes it to that one of those towers. I, I just don't know. We'll see. We'll see how we go. We'll go. Mike Atlanticore, he's on speedy boots, speedy boots. And he's procced. So who's he killed? He's killed no one. He's he's killed a thing. So we've killed a thing, which is what we did last time. So <laughs> it's not really that interesting or that exciting. Um, where's the spirit are gonna go? Probably over here. We might drop We might drop Ronan first in this instant. And we're gonna drop him. We're gonna drop him over here. So we will just keep troops over here to lure the copters. So, and then Ronan's just gonna do his thing. Spiriter is, yeah, well, Spiriter is not used now. So I just feel like we put. Like I've, I went to the top, I feel like if Skelly is any form of accuracy, he's going to be harder to deal with than... What is it? Than um, the Rockno and the Anubis down here. So it's very unlikely they have a lot of dodge. So we've got that. I reckon all those buildings are pretty low, so we're going to put a Spirited there. A lot of troops over here to distract. A Spirited here. And... Going in, going in. Freezing with the Sasquatch there. Everyone's died. Oh, they had a Sasquatch totem. That's cool. Awesome. So, we've got to wait. We've got to put Anubis, and he's going to deal with... Hmm. This is pretty risky, because we're at 57% again. So, do I go over there, like, as far away as possible, and he's just going to deal with, like, Wallaprox and... That's about it, really. Is the Waller in power? He is. So, we can probably get an additional proc if Anubis wants to. He is getting chunked, though, because of the... Um, so, death 1, 79%. Death 2, 85%. 93%. And we are dead. Dead in the water. Oh no, gonna love that, Pergo, Pergo. So, I'm not super concerned with getting the, f the three flames, which is, uh, you know, it's ideal to do that, but the main idea of what I'm going in and out of is Sasquatch using that for Warbreaker and Atlanticor, you know, with a little bit more speed, I reckon that's probably a little bit more effective, um, and trying to kill that skull at the same time. Maybe if we went up the top, all we needed was an extra proc. Uh, and a Spirit was probably pretty useless in that regard because I was using Ronin um, for the cleanup, really. So, I mean, I probably should have dropped Ronin and focused on doing Mike and maybe Minnow through one of those walls instead, like getting Sasquatch to that point where Mike kills or Atlanticore kills the Athene and then I just Minnow bomb the rest of the base and use a Spirit of First for that cleanup. But that's all right. All fun and games, guys. All fun and games. All right, base number two. And 
this is the Dove base. So looking for a little bit of redemption. I'm sure I'll get a message later about uh, whoever's base that was from Purgatory. Um, so what we're doing here is a little bit more intricate uh, than your standard grab Dove and you know proc against Athene and all that jazz. So what I want to do is I want to break the walls while at a certain position while getting Dove up and allowing Sasquatch to take the first initial Brute, but then having Atlanta Core proc, which, oh wow. Okay, so Atlanta Core did proc, killed Athene, didn't kill Rock, no, that's fine. Athene's dead. Uh, now we've broken a wall here, and which is fine, but can I get through there? Is that a thing to get through? I think it is. So we're going to put a Spirito, so we'll, we'll distract a whole bunch of troops down here. That's fine. A Spirito up the top, and then more troops, more troops, because I don't want as many things attaching a Spirito. Great thing about a Spirito is like Anubis, two second cooldown with all the troops, if you can not get, have it scattered, and it's at skill 11, 200 attack speed, so, you know, the, uh, the energy gain is actually way higher again. So all the troops look like they're done, but unfortunately, I have nothing to proc on uh, for Minnow. I do. I'll probably go this one just here, but we've got to we've got to take into the account that he will be stunned, and he is only in Lightning Rock and Yellowfin. So we're relying on Yellowfin to deal with that. Oh, Spirit is still alive. That's kind of cool. Making sure everyone is dead before we go in, so we don't deal with any Anubis procs. Now Skelly proc won't happen. Dove proc won't happen. We will have to be careful with. Um, the rock no with the energy because we don't want we don't want to deal with that so we kind of want everything in the same view lots of troops lots of troops lots of troops and then why aren't we going fast 90% oh, that'll do um, because Bublo is on Atlanta core and not on not on my mic so that is an issue that extra power boost of 55% speed was invulnerable obviously in places like that a little bit more technical breaking a wall but I didn't actually need to break the wall in essence um, but you know if Rockno was some other hero like an empower Yeti or something like that and you're on the side here and you know all of a sudden you walk in you're getting frozen constantly it's gonna be more annoying so if you if you can utilize Yeti like I was able to break open these walls pretty much entirely and if you time it right you'll be able to um you'll be able to leave buildings here and enough uh you know ideally it would have been we kill we kill um a gunslinger as well and that makes your life real real easy so but yeah a little bit a little bit of different um a little bit of different strat when you take it down to just toss it up like you, can you minnow if you've got an empower theme you might as well minnow because you can plant stuff on the side of the base and it makes it so much easier so yeah, I do not rate Empower Athene. I don't know why people have them on their base unless they're in the center of the base with high accuracy to deter Ronin Bombers. Or Empower Athenes. They are also, um, no, Empower Doves. They are probably the most ridiculous choice to have on your base. Um, because if you're getting a Dove right on the side, the Atlanta Core is still not going to die, right? A Mike will die with all the procs, that's fine, but an Atlanta Core is invulnerable, so just not going to happen, so bad choice. And putting the Athene, Empower Athene, next to Dove, even if the Dove is not in power, you know, it just seems like a real wasted choice. You know, if you're going to have Athene in there, put her in there, that's fine, but maybe on a low, low in power, in the middle of the base, um, and away from Dove, so you're not having that, you know, auto building on the side of the build, like on the side of the map. Anyway, let's move on to the top target. We'll do that just now. All right, back for number one. Now I've been doing this for a little bit, and it got too long, so I, uh, <laughs> I might actually save the video for something else. And if, if Lord Jaren. Mate, I've got like a 10 minute video of how I was going about your base. So if you wanna if you wanna do that, just hit me up and I'll send it through to you. So what we're looking for, Athene, Prox, she got five second cooldown, so the issue with having anything less than a seven or eight in power on her is in the center of the base, which is helpful. But 
um, you can time it because you'll have a, a cooldown time. So we've put Blitz in Lightning. I don't know. We took Atlanta Core off light Blitz and put him in Lightning Rock, so he's just fast. So all I'm going to do is wait for Athene's energy to get to like, eh, like three fifths. No, not three fifths. Like you know, about there. And then we put Atlanta Core in. He's going to go in, and he procs, and then everyone just gets melted. But what I need to happen, and what happened before is my my Atlanta Core is running, which I'll show you is for this exact reason. This is why I put it on him. Oh no! What do we got? Uh, yeah, you can go in that, I guess. So I really, really want you fast. Um, so anti heal is, you know, what I put as an artifact for him because if it happens, it so happens that we miss the Wallaproc. So we're in here. We miss the Empower Wallaproc that's going to remove anti heal, right? Um, which is great, which is another thing I wasn't taking into account. I was just watching Rockno die. Um, and if it hits Rockno and he can't heal, then he's just doing damage and, and going to die essentially. So, you know, that's what we're, that's what we're looking at there. And drop Sasquatch. Yes, that's exactly what we want. That is the best setup we could have happened. So Sasquatch goes in, breaks that perfect line. The building's still on the end. Hopefully it has enough health that Atlanta Core won't, um, or Atlanta Core will die too soon. So waiting for her to be at like two thirds of energy and then dropping Atlanta Core. And he's gonna hit that building and he's gonna melt. And he's also gonna melt. We gotta make sure that Skelly is also off proc because that's super annoying to deal with. Making sure Walla and Thingy have then procced. Uh, trying to line up both of them, which should be fine. We'll wait till the next one because I feel like that's gonna be a better time. And then, Going in, going in. Oh, where, where's Anubis? Anubis and Athene are proccing literally at the same time. So we got to like, wait, 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 wait. Atlanta Core. Uh, nah, didn't, my fat fingers didn't, uh, didn't drop troops. They dropped my entire army worth of stuff, which is really unfortunate because that Sasquatch drop was super nice. That's all I'm saying. It was almost the perfect thing. Maybe that green little leaf thing. Well, maybe we'll, maybe we'll roll with that. So wait until hers up there. Green leaf. Oh, no, that's not what we want at all. Because, so a little bit before the green leaf. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe you need a, a, like a more higher HP building or something like that there would be a, a guess. So wait for Athene to go up. Um... And then hitting her when she's at like two thirds. And then that didn't really work out. So we'll have to go just before she ends her proc. So we've got the most CD. Like we can deal with a couple of Athene blasts, but like not heaps of them, if that makes sense. So when she goes up, you know, you're looking at two thirds or half energy even, which will give Rock, uh, will give Yeti just that little bit extra. Um, a little bit extra of buffer zone to do a proc. And look, it was all right. The proc was all right. And we're going to roll with it just for the sake of doing this. And goes in. I've got to make sure that that stupid Skelly is not being... <laughs> has not got power empowered on him. So we're going halfway, halfway. She's, yeah, there. Breaking the walls. Yes. So when she was about halfway energy, that was what we were after. We'll get that skelly procking. Uh, he's going to go up. He's all right if it's half energy. So troops, 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 troops. Athene being like two thirds energy going in. Atlanta core, perfect. So Athene is dead. Rockno, is you going to die? You're going to die? You're going to heal over yourself? No, Rockno is down as well. So that's what's up. And now... We're going to use the Spirit to get rid of the troops. And unfortunately, I wanted to use that same building, but Atlanta Core did get it. So if you wanted to like RN, you know, go back and RNG and get the perfect meta, you'd leave that building alive. You'd, you'd try and make sure that Atlanta Core could proc, but was not doing like crazy. It let, let it stay up. In the, in the trial runs, in like 10 minutes I was doing this, it was definitely a little bit more. So what are we doing now? We're getting a Spiriter. So we're getting a Spiriter over here. 
and we are doing getting rid of those troops hopefully is the whole idea here eight seconds and are we down or are they all down okay we're all down all right we've got this we've got this we've got gunslinger we've got gunslinger we got empower so that's that so once they go off again i'm going to race in with my bublo mike and minnow and happy days yes Yes, 72%. So, we like that. We got the dupe killing that town hall. Happy days. This is what's up. That's how we do it. And then empower Athene. No, no power, empower. No one powers. So, we just... I don't know what we're going to do, actually. We'll just drop him. He's going to be fine. Oh, no! Oh no, it's right, he procced, and because he's he's immune to Ares while he's procking under five Vite, we were we were lucky. Lucky in that sense. Alright, that is that is it for me on this guys. So any questions, Lord Jaron hit me up. I can send you that ten minute video of like back and forth with that. But unfortunately, you know, I didn't get didn't get a top score. So well sort of. I don't know, maybe other people drop flames too. No, that's not right. I would have got around, yeah, 3,400. So that's all right. 29 had a couple people hit me again um, while I was down at 70%, 96% crushed. That sucks. So anyway, guys, that's it for me. Thanks for staying tuned. A bit of a longer video today, more strat filled, um, whatnot. Go and hit the like on the Facebook page. It's, it's going to be the same as notifications on YouTube, but I will upload pictures and talk about some stuff. Um, also, if anyone is really got a high DPS Lava 4 team, hit me up online. I'm looking to break that minute and, you know, break as, as further into that minute as possible. Um, you know, what, what, what I've got at the moment for three of my main heroes on that. Uh, Gunslinger. Oh, no, Guild, yes. What are we? Gunslinger um, has got eight slow down we've got my dove and trixie treat so and my dove have all got eight slow down so they're going to be massive in dealing with yeah and and you know a heavy blow crest um and dove keeper they've all got they've got summons i do want to change that summon so i'm looking to get this team together soon if you've got you know super high slow down gunslingers tts and a dove keeper doesn't need but you know they're the three main heroes, the, the talent is less important. Um, hit me up and I will try and get something together. Anyway guys, thanks for staying tuned. Hope you enjoyed, I'll see you in the next video.